Happy Earth Day, Sea Wolves, and welcome to the Stony Brook Media News Show. I'm Irina Ivanuk. And I'm Marcus Dia. To celebrate this day, let's take a look at someone who's nurturing the Earth. It's a beautiful spring morning here in the Shinnecock Bay in Southampton, Long Island. The birds are singing, there's a soft breeze, but most important of all, the water is clear. However, it probably wouldn't look like that if it wasn't for the work from researchers from the Stony Brook Marine Sciences Research Center here in the Southampton campus. For more than a decade, Shinnecock Bay suffered with problems like harmful algal blooms, brown and red tides, and poor water quality, which are associated with high nitrogen levels. Thinking of these problems, scientists from the Stony Brook University School of Marine and Atmospheric Sciences and from the Institute for Ocean Conservation Science created together a restoration project for the bay in 2012. I talked to Christine Santora, one of the project's coordinators, to better understand the project and its accomplishments. According to Santora, the main problem in Shinnecock Bay is the lack of a sewer system. Um, you know, in some more developed areas, most developed areas, uh, sewers take waste from each individual home and deliver the waste to a treatment plant where it gets treated and kind of scrubbed of the material that would pollute the waterway. And then effluent is released, which is cleaner than, you know, the raw waste. So that's not happening around the watershed of Shinnecock Bay because there is no sewer system. It's individual homes, septic systems, which um, again, are, are having this untreated waste seep into the ground and flow and make its way into um, Shinnecock Bay, which has caused the algae to proliferate. It's caused, you know, a lot of the water quality problems. She explained that the best solution the research team came up with was to plant hard clams in the bay. These animals filter water through their digestive systems as they feed, helping to keep it cleaner. Uh, scientists at Stony Brook, uh, I'm a part of the group to, who devised an in-the-water plan to try to get more clams in the bay to create a higher filtration capacity within the bay itself. Um, so we would purchase the clams um, and, and keep them refrigerated. They'd be delivered and then we would put the clams in the water. Santora also said that the cycle will continue, giving the bay a chance to come back to life. And we've seen not only that the shellfish are you know, filtering out the water um, and the water quality is improving, but these shellfish are now reproducing on their own and, and creating more populations within the bay. And that matters because that creates more filtration, newer generations of clams that are able to reproduce, and the cycle goes on and on and on in a positive way, not a negative way. She said that she hopes that this can become a standard model plan for other places on Earth, on New York State, and on Long Island that need restoration. So I think in terms of our project, one limitation would be how do you make it replicable in places that don't have the resources that we have? For the Stony Brook Media Group, I am Rafael Cruvinel.